क्वेश्चन वन सेवेंटी वन इफ द सिम्टम्स ऑफ अ डिजीज इंक्लूड इडिमा स्टंटेड ग्रोथ एंड प्रोट्रूडेड बेली इन अ चाइल्ड ऑफ थ्री इयर्स इट इज मोस्ट लाइकली अ केस ऑफ नाउ लेट एस सी सिंस इट्स इट्स स्टंटेड ग्रोथ इट मीन्स दैट इट इज ओवरऑल lack of nutrition and not just a lack of a single vitamin in options we have option number 1 scurvy 2 beriberi 3 is marasmus and fourth is kwashiorkor so we know that marasmus and kwashiorkor come under pem that is protein energy malnutrition so scurvy is caused due to deficiency of vitamin c and beriberi is caused due to deficiency of vitamin b1 but the deficiency of single vitamin usually does not cause stunted growth and edema so we have to look at marasmus and kwashiorkor over here we have a table differentiating kwashiorkor from marasmus so kwashiorkor usually occurs in the age group of 1 to 5 years whereas marasmus occurs usually under 1 year of age over here in marasmus there is deficiency of proteins and overall energy whereas in kwashiorkor there is deficiency of only proteins but no deficiency of overall calories or energy now here in the question the child belongs to an age group of 3 years and overall has stunted growth and protruded belly which indicates the deficiency of protein but not overall energy therefore the answer becomes option number 4 that is kwashiorkor so answer becomes option number 4 let us move on to the next question question number 172 match column 1 with column 2 and find the correct match with respect to human digestive system over here we have some parts of the human digestive system and a feature peculiar to them let us see the correct table sphincter of boyden is related to the common bile duct that is when the common bile duct is opening into the main pancreatic duct that opening is guarded by the sphincter of boyden number 2 cystic duct cystic duct is the duct of the gall bladder hepatic lobule which is the structural unit of the liver is covered by a capsule which is called glissens capsule and this glissens capsule is a characteristic feature of mammalian liver number 4 is ampulla of wetter that is when the hepatopancreatic duct opens into the duodenum an ampulla is formed which is guarded by the sphincter of odi now let us look at the options a matches with 2 we can see in option 1 and 3 in both the options a matches with 2 b matches with 3 only in option number 3 b matches with 3 option C matches with four and D matches with one, so the answer becomes option number three. Let us see the next question, students. Question number one seventy three. Ileocecal valve is present between ileum, as we know, is the last part of small intestine. The ileum. opens into the cecum which is the first part of the large intestine so the ileocecal valve should be present between the ileum and the cecum now let's look at the options esophagus and stomach no this is the wrong option stomach and small intestine over here pyloric sphincter is present small intestine and rectum they do not have a direct connection so this is also wrong small intestine and cecum this is the correct option as ileum is the last part of small intestine so the answer becomes option number 4 let us see the next question students question number 174 chylomicrons are large globules of fats covered by proteins formed in dash and get absorbed in dash so we have to select the correct option which fills the blank correctly over here we have a diagram depicting the digestion of fats bile salts 
act upon the fat globules and thus emulsify them. These emulsified fat droplets are called missiles which are then acted upon by lipases to form fatty acids. These fatty acids and monoglycerides are then absorbed into the mucosal epithelial cell where again they reform into small protein coated globules called chylomicrons. Now let us look at the options. So chylomicrons, they are not formed in the lumen of the intestine. They are formed in the enterocyte. So enterocyte is the cell of the small intestine. So are they formed in enterocyte? Yes. So this is correct. Lumen of the intestine, they are not formed in the lumen of the intestine. Missiles are formed in the lumen of the intestine. Option number 4 also says enterocytes. Now let us look at the B part and are absorbed in. These chylomicrons are absorbed in the lymphatic capillaries which are called lacteals. Therefore, we have to look at lacteals. Option number 4, the blank A is filled by enterocytes and the blank B is filled by lacteals which is the correct option. So, the answer in this case becomes option number 4. Question 175. Select the incorrect option with respect to digestion of food in humans. Let us see option number 1. Maltose is acted upon by maltase to yield glucose and glucose. We know that maltose is a disaccharide which is made up of glucose and glucose. Therefore, this is the correct option. Nucleoside is acted upon by nucleosidase to yield a nitrogenous base and a sugar. A nucleoside is made up of a sugar and a nitrogenous base. So this also is a correct option. Number 3, lactose is acted upon by lactase to yield galactose and fructose. This is the wrong option as Lactose is composed of glucose plus galactose. Therefore, this fructose is wrong. Option number 4, proteins acted upon by pepsin to yield proteoses and peptones. Now, pepsin is the activated form of pepsinogen which is secreted in the gastric juice. So, this option is also correct. So, since we have to choose the incorrect option, the incorrect option is 3. That is, lactose does not yield galactose and fructose. So, the answer becomes option number 3. Let us move on to the next question. Mm -hmm.